Hello, today and we're going to have a game of Chase HQ for the Commodore Amiga. Yes, the Amiga. I've never played it on the Amiga before. So, what am I expecting? So, I'm expecting it to be good. And so, uh, we're going to have a game of it on the Amiga for the very first time in my life. So, I'm looking forward to this. If it's anything like the Amstrad version, well, I expect it to be better than the Amstrad version because being 16-bit and especially the Amiga version you expect so here we go I'm really looking forward to this as I say this is the first time I'm playing this in my life so wow can't wait basically <laughs> here we go and here we are and um, uh, I, 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 honestly, I was expecting a lot better. This this is not that good. It's my first impression straight away. This is not that good for the Amiga. Um, they could have done so much better than this. I mean, it plays all right. One of the ah, not a great good arcade conversion at all. Look at the car, it looks like it's hovering on me. There's no wheels. There is no wheel, it looks like the car is hovering on the road. And the frame rate ain't that decent. I have to say, and I'm going to be totally honest with you, the Amstrad CPC 464 version is better than this. I was expecting high hopes for this, being the Amiga. But this is not great very very below par to be honest with you it, I mean it's all right um, not fantastic this is oh dear oh for fuck's sake we're doing really bad as I say this is the first time I'm playing it but I was expecting a lot better than this this is absolutely ridiculous the Amiga, the Amiga's a brilliant computer, come on, we all know that, this game could have been a lot better on the Amiga, I mean, <laughs> this is, looks like more of an 8-bit game than 16-bit to be honest with you, anyway, let's crash the car, oh, fuck it now, not good at all, sorry, not good. Come on, let's smash him up. So we know what the game is all about. Basically, you've got to catch criminals, crash their cars, and when the car's totally immobilised, then we arrest them. Uh, they could have done so much better than this. Come on, this is the Commodore Amiga, probably the best 16 bit computer out there. And this is the best they can do. Even I was disappointed with Outrun, Turbo Outrun. Um, even Afterburner, a lot of arcade conversions. They've done a bad job on the Amiga. Why? For a decent 16-bit computer, and they do rubbish. Well, I say rubbish, ain't that rubbish. It, it, it could have been a lot better, but... Mm, as we catch him. Bloody hell. But as I say, the Amstrad CPC 464 version was absolutely brilliant. For an 8-bit conversion, that was, a, I would say that was better than this. Graphic-wise, um, playability, was, that was probably the best version I've ever play, well, played so far. Certainly a lot better than the Amiga version. But let's get on with it, eh? Let's see this game out to the death. Well, actually, I'm only going to, because I'm assuming it's got a few continues, I'm only going to use this one. I'm not going to use no more continues, because I don't want to make this review very long. I mean, ew. See, look at the colour of the fucking road. That's disgusting. Green and grey, that really does look 8 bit to me. The way that is done. I mean, 
they could at least put some wheels on the car <laughs> it looks like it's hovering it's a it's a hover car <laughs> this is back to the future <laughs> and that's dreadful but even that a little bit of animation is pretty poor no way that's a shame a dead shame ocean could have done a lot better job than this actually I think this was done no I don't know who done it yeah, it was ocean software See, they even done a bad job on the Commodore 64. That should have been a lot better than what that should have been. That was really poor. I really don't know what's going on. Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm so... I'm really disappointed. Very disappointed in this version. It doesn't look like it's going that fast. Even when you put the turbo on, it fucking seems like it's just near enough to stationary. No, not really, but you know, it could have been a lot smoother. It's not smooth at all. Um, fucking crap. It ain't crap, but it certainly isn't a decent game, huh? So there we go. Let's smash them up. See what happens. Obviously not a lot. God, so look at the colours of it. <laughs> they may like if you can come up with a game like Formula One Grand Prix, which was probably one of the best racing games on the 16-bit Amiga. Then you know how good that was. That was probably one of my favourite games of all times on the Amiga. And they produce something like this, which is not even that great. Just like Outrun was on the Amiga, that was terrible. Um, I don't know, don't know what to say. I'll tell you what, I would have been disappointed if I paid um, the full price for this. If I did that uh, and bought it when I had the Amiga. Lucky I didn't have it back in the day because I would, I would have been pretty disappointed if I had this. I wouldn't have played it that long. No. I don't know why. It's, they could have done better. I keep saying that. Oh, that's weird. We ain't going to continue because I think this review has gone on long enough. So, not really. I mean, the game is okay. It's playable, but... Once again, they could have done a lot better than that. Um, so they're going to our initials, so obviously we're going to use the joystick. There's this one of these arcade fucking style, putting my finger really into the name. Can't, be, can't use the keyboard. Uh, here we go. I'm going to end the review here. Uh, that's a shame. I was looking forward to playing this on a decent game, but it ain't. Till next time, goodbye.